Question. Are you one of the people who have a Mac, own a Mac, and are completely in love with your Mac? However, you are endlessly frustrated by the fact that it can't run that many games. Uh, specifically all the PC games that are out and and are just you're just absolutely just going Bleh, I have to play this fucking game and you can't get it because you have a Mac. Well, it's very unfortunate, but for some reason, uh, the people who run Apple or have, have been running Apple, they just for some reason they don't want to write software that's going that's going to help configure all the PC games and run it over to Mac or the game industry just fucking hates Apple all in general. Who knows? Um, but no worries. I have found a way via other YouTube people who have found this way before me. Sorry, just making sure. Um, yeah, so I discovered a way via other people who have already found this way before me uh, how to run a perfectly well working Windows 7 system on your Mac. It doesn't matter what service you have, you're going to have, you know. Leopard, uh, Mountain Lion. Uh, I have a uh, I have Mountain Lion. Uh, actually, if you want to be specific, I have Mac OS X ten point eight point two. It's the latest version that comes pre-installed with the Retina Display MacBook Pro. Um, I have that. Um, yeah, you're jealous, aren't you? Doesn't matter. You know, overpriced piece of shit that I'm absolutely in love with but it doesn't matter. I love this thing. It, it, it's beside the point. Anyways, VMware Fusion is the software that you're going to need to have the download. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the description of a video where you can go and look how to download that for free because it does cost money to be a fully registered member. However, you do get to try the 30 days uh, for free, but you really want Windows 7 and try to play as many games as you can within 30 days? I don't think so. So let's get this underway. Let me turn the screen recorder on. Get that thing out the way. Meh, go away. Okay. So like I said, VMware Fusion. Uh, if you have, if you're running on 10.7, uh, you're going to need at least VMware 4. But if you're running on 10.8, you're going to need at least VMware 5. Uh, I'll post a link in the description of how to download it. Um, or post a video link in the description of another person who's going to show you how to download it. I'm just doing this for time purposes. All right. So once you have VMware Fusion installed, you're going to want to open it up. It'll show up right up here in the bar. You want to go to File. Ooh, okay. Just fucking just premature on me right there. All right. See this plus button? You're going to click Add. You go to New. And you're going to hit this button, Continue Without Disk. Now, this file right here, I will post a link in the description of where to download this. I think you can get it off of like uh, Mediafire, Softpedia, or Pirate Bay. I'm honestly not sure. But uh, I can't remember right offhand. But I will post a link in the description of where I found this, and uh, that way, you, that way, because this is essential. This is the home premium edition uh, for the Windows Seven. So once you have this on your desktop, just drag it over, and it automatically recognizes what system installation you're going to download. So you're going to hit continue, and just operating system. This should be already filled in. But if it's not, just go to Microsoft Windows and then just have it on regular Windows 7. No 64-bit, no Vista, no none of this other stupid shit. Like, what the fuck is Windows 3.1? Honestly, I, I, I don't even know. Anyways, um, all right. So just after that, hit continue. And then, you know, it's going to up your account name. It should already be installed, like, with your name, with the computer you registered as. Just type in your own password because this is going to be... You know, it's, it's not needed, but, you know, in case some troll wants to come in there and, you know, like, fuck with your shit, you can't. So, uh, this right here, this is the product key that's going to be, uh, that you're going to need uh, to actually register it, or fake register it, I, I don't know. I'll paste that in the description, so just copy that, paste it in the, uh, password, the product key code, and then in this version... Right here, the version selection you're gonna want Windows 7 Home Premium, because that's what this disc is. It's a one. It's a Home Premium one. Now, uh, you want to click this box. This is more isolated. Basically, what this does is it acts as a separate application. Therefore, if you're running VMware Fusion, you don't have to like completely just like, uh, you don't have to like reboot your Mac or or anything or turn it off just to go to Windows 7. Like it, you just click the virtual machine and it pops up as an extra application. So you're going to hit continue. 
Um, right now, it's got 1 gigs of RAM and 60 gigabytes of uh, memory. Or, I'm sorry, 1 gig of RAM and 60 gigabytes of uh, area. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I hit Customize Settings. Uh, name it as, you know, whatever you want. Just put Windows Test. Uh, I don't know. Just name it whatever you want. Save. And uh, if you hit Finish, it'll just already go up and install with those predetermined settings. But this, you, I mean, who really wants 60 gigs of memory uh, out of like a 250 gig minus whatever you've already used? Anyways, so you want to go to Processor and Memory. Uh, depending upon, if you want to play your games, you're going to want to use at least four processor cores because... Uh, with the Retina or Mac, whatever it has, whatever, how, however many processor cores it's going to have, you can go in here and select it. Uh, it's already going to render out your specs of what your processor core is, and it'll give you these things like you can use 1, 2, 4, or all 8. But if I use all 8, that I'll run the Mac down itself. Ergo, it'll run down the virtual machine. So just use, I would say about either 2 or 4 would be good. Uh, same thing goes for the memory. Uh, just do it at the recommended value. Just leave it like this. If you go much higher it's gonna slow down the run the RAM of the Mac and there you go it's gonna run down the virtual machine so back that up and uh, the hard disk um, you don't want to use 60 gigs of memory I mean it's it's just, it's actually just a complete waste if you're just solely using it just for games if you want to use it for more you know that's your thing but if you want to do it just solely for games uh, you maybe want to do it just, just however I mean it's gonna use at least six gigs uh, uh, to, to get all the uh, the VMware tools in and all the uh, the regular window uh, specs and applications already in there by itself so basically it's gonna put minus six or plus six plus whatever you want to use so let's say uh, like like a uh, I don't know you want to download a game that's like 10 gigs uh, six gigs plus the uh, 10 gigs for the game you put do at least 16 gigs but just do like an average like like an open 20. To have like a little bit of playing room. I mean, don't go like o overboard. Just you know, just a little playing room right there. Twenty is perfectly fine. So you just want to hit apply. Yeah, oh, God, what did I just do? All right, get that out of there. Now it's off. Just double click on it. Get rid of that. All right, now it's up. It's just gonna be this little play button. You just hit that play button, and it's gonna start. Now, uh, what this is doing is basically just starting up as if you're going to register an actual um, Windows software. It, like, like, like if you just bought a brand new PC and opened it up and turned it on for the first time, this is what's going to pop up. This basically is doing the exact same thing. Um, so it, it takes about like five minutes depending upon the speed of your computer. Um, so I'm going to stop it right here real quick and then I will show you what it's gonna look like while it's uh, downloading and uh, after it's done alright so after it's all completed it's gonna say complete installation uh, after, after it says uh, installing updates after it finishes that it's gonna reboot and then come back to this uh, specific page and it's gonna complete installation um, and once that's done this should take about like a few minutes um, it's not really gonna be that long um, but after that, it's going to, uh, pull up a, a separate window. Oh, was that, what's going on? Okay, nothing happened. Basically, what it is, is it's going to pull up a separate window, like a little box inside here, and it's going to ask you to download the VMware tools that's going to apply to the Windows, uh, section of your computer. And basically, what you want to do is just want to click install that. Basically, it's just like uh, some VMware Fusion tools that's going to help it run faster and seamlessly and slick, and everything's going to be okay. Just don't just uh, don't pay too much mind to that. But after you install that, it's going to reboot a second time, and then it should pop up to where it's going to ask you for your password in order to log into your profile on your Windows computer. And I will pause the video real quick and let you see what it is after it does that. All right, so right now it's preparing the desktop, and everything is going to be smooth and fine. Uh, yeah, everything should be going pretty good. mess. Yep. Okay, so here's the installer I told you about. The VMware tools. Just let that go. Should 
shouldn't take too long to download. Yeah, there we go. Alright, like I said, it's going to reboot uh, just one more time and then it's going to pull up to where it's going to ask you for a password that you set. If you didn't write a password, then that's perfectly fine. It's just going to bring you up. But Yep, that's how you're going to do it. Ugh. Oh, I must apologize. Aha, uh -huh. so, see that wasn't too long, so once you're here, you just type in the pat. oh god, you just type in the password that you set, welcome, and what do you know, we have a perfectly well working Windows 7 system on our Mac, let me just show you real quick, start, uh, let's see, everyone's favorite, command prompt, yeah, IP config, backslash all, yeah, see? Everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, physical address 0000 E0. Yeah, so don't fucking copy my shit. Alright, um. That's working. Internet, how about internet? Go Microsoft.com. Trust me, it's a lot faster than this. I'm just running a screen recorder and then a screen movie maker, and, you know, it's. It usually doesn't go this slow. It runs very seamless. But, uh, yeah. Get that out of here. You go away, sir. Oh, whoa, 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 Like I said, I, uh, this is running a little bit too slow and very laggy only because I'm running so many programs right now. But, Rest assured, this will not happen. Look at that. Google pops up in a flash. So, yeah. You have Windows 7 on your MacBook. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you get to play many, many games. So, uh, like, watch, subscribe.